Hi everyone, welcome to Winona State University. My name is Allie and I will be taking you on a tour of our seven unique residence hall complexes today. So you will be able to see all of our various residence hall options as well as learn about our different amenities and housing policies. Let's get started. Here we are in one of our Maury Shepherd rooms. As you can see, we have spacious built-in wardrobes that have awesome organizers within them. And then we also have blackout sheets in here, as well as quite a bit of space. As you're getting prepared to come to campus, some things you might want to consider bringing just to make the space feel more like home are bringing a 4.5 or smaller cubic mini fridge or a 700 watt microwave. Uh, these are some nice features that you could bring to have right in your room. Along with that, you might want to bring a small vacuum cleaner as well to be able to clean up your space whenever you want to. Some of the other unique features we have across all of our residence halls are that we have Wi-Fi both in the halls as well as outside of them as well. So you can access that to do homework inside or outside. And then along with that, we also have cable. So you can hook up your own device and get 90 plus channels free. Here we are in one of our laundry room facilities. All of our residence halls are going to have a designated laundry room for you to utilize. All you have to do, bring your clothes down, throw them in and push start and you'll be all set to go. So it is included in the cost of housing, which means you don't have to save your quarters. Along with that, all of our machines are going to lock and there is an app that you can use to track when the machines are available and when they're not. One of our laundry tips is to bring your own liquid laundry detergent to utilize in our machines. All right, here we are in one of our Conway rooms. Some of the really unique features about Conway is that they have really large windows, a sink, and a walk-in closet. Along with that, we have an example of a bunked bed here. So this is a great way if you wanna save some space, but also avoid the cost of those lofts. And then along with that, Conway is home to our gender inclusive housing. So if this is something you're interested in, you can indicate that on your housing application. Here we are in one of our community bathrooms. One of the nice features about them is that they have bathroom stalls on one side as well as shower stalls on the other, so they're separated. And then with our shower stalls, you can see that there is a separate space to change before you go into the shower and then the doors will lock as well. All right, here we are at the Quad, which is a four-sided residence hall complex that includes Richards, Maury Shepherd, and Conway. Out in the middle of these four buildings, we have a courtyard, which is a great space for students to play a game of volleyball, hammock, do homework, study, hang out with friends. It's a really great way to form that community within your residence hall complexes here. All right, here we are in one of the Richards rooms. Richards is actually our largest double on main campus, so you get quite a bit of space in here. Some of the other unique amenities about Richards is that they have sinks as well as a lot of shelf space as well. Welcome to Prentice Lucas Halls. These are two mirror image buildings that share a common lounge and front desk area as well as a volleyball court outside. Prentice is predominantly male residents and Lucas is for female residents. Here we are in one of the really nice lounges. There is plenty of lounge space here in these two buildings. Here we are in one of the Prentice Lucas rooms. As you can see, they are quite long, so you have a ton of space as well as built-in wardrobes and desks. And then Prentice and Lucas also have sinks in their rooms, which is a really nice touch as well. Welcome to Sheehan Hall. This is our 13 floor co-ed residence hall. It consists of mainly double rooms. Along with that, a fun fact about Sheehan is that it is actually the tallest building in Winona, so you will have the best views. Here we are in our Sheehan first floor lobby. Sheehan is home to our security office. There is security presence in all of our residence halls as well. After 11 p.m. each night, there will be a staff member checking anybody that comes into the building. This is one of our many security measures that we have in our residence halls. Along with that, you can have guests in your residence hall. You would just have to make sure that it is okay with your roommate before inviting guests into your room. Along with that, guests do have to be registered if they decide to spend the night. Some of our other policies include that Winona State University is a dry campus, which means that the use or possession of drugs or tobacco products is not allowed regardless of your age. Here we are in a Sheehan room. Some of the features of Sheehan 
are they have blackout shades so it gets again completely dark in here when you close them they also have multiple outlets and then the closets in Shein are really great because they have awesome built-in organizers Here we are at Kirkland and Hockey Halls. These are our suite style residence halls. Hockey is for our incoming freshman students and then Kirkland is for our upperclassmen students. All right, here we are on the fourth floor of hockey in our lounge. As you can see, there is an absolutely beautiful view of campus. So this is a perfect place to study if you want a good view. Along with that, our RAs are going to be putting on a lot of events here. So it's a great way to make friends, form that community in your residence hall. Or if you just wanted to watch a movie or something like that, you can do that as well. Along with that, we also have a community kitchen here. So you can see that there is going to be a refrigerator that you can use. You could just label your food and put it in there. It has an oven if you wanted to bake something as well as a toaster and a microwave. And so all of our different residence halls are going to have multiple community lounges and kitchens for you to utilize in your residence hall. All right, here we are in one of our two bedroom suites. Our suites are either two bedroom or four bedroom with four students in each suite. All of our suites come with a shared common space, a bathroom area, as well as two or four bedrooms. As you can see, this is an example of one of our beds um, at a normal height, so you can adjust it how you would like. Uh, and then this is an example of a lofted bed. And so if you wanted to, you could loft the bed and that costs $50 per semester for a loft kit. Along with that, some of the other nice features of our suites are that they come with blackout shades and so it'll get completely dark in here when you close that. And then they also have some awesome closets um, that do not have ceilings. And so you can have quite a bit of space even all the way up to the ceiling if you'd like. All right, so one of the convenient parts about these suites is that they have a separate two sink vanity as well as a separate shower and a bathroom. So it's really beneficial if students want, multiple students want to get ready in the morning. Somebody could be brushing their teeth while somebody's taking a shower and vice versa. Our suites do require that you bring your own toiletries. So you would have to supply your own toilet paper and you would have to clean the bathrooms yourself. But it is very convenient to have the bathroom right in the place that you're living. Within housing and residence life, we follow a wise motto. This motto promotes a welcoming, inclusive, safe, and engaging living environment for all of our students. Speaking of living environment, all of our residence halls are going to have hall staff that you should get to know. Our hall directors are professional live-in staff members that supervise the building as well as, well as all of the students and staff members here. We also have resident assistants, which are students that are going to be living on your floor. They're a great way to help you make friends as well as form that community within your hall. All right, now that you've seen everything that our residence halls have to offer, let's talk about the application process. Once you are admitted to Winona State University, our housing application will open mid-September. Once that is open, you can log into your housing portal and access your application. You will need to sign an agreement as well as submit a $250 prepayment. From there, you will be able to customize your housing experience, so you can participate in things such as our roommate matching process. Then, come early summer, you will receive a time slot in which you will be able to access which room you want and select that for the upcoming school year. We go based on when you signed your agreement and submitted your prepayment. So, the sooner you do that, the more availability you will have in selecting your room. Thank you for joining me on this Winona State University virtual housing tour. I hope to see you on campus soon, but in the meantime, if you have any questions or would like to request any more information, feel free to contact our office and we will be happy to help.